Today we're learning how to identify equivalent fractions. We're going to start by looking at these four models and deciding which ones are equal. To start, we're going to label each of the models. This first model is the fraction 1 half. Then the second model has two shaded pieces out of a total of four, so it's 2 fourths. This model is 4 eighths, and this last model is 2 sixths. Now if you've already been learning about equivalent fractions, you might be able to look at these different fractions and recognize which ones are equal. For example, you should start memorizing that one-half and two-fourths are equivalent. But if you aren't sure, how could you figure this out? Well, in your head, you have to imagine moving the shaded pieces of each shape around. For example, if we take this shaded piece and move it up, you can see the total amount shaded in this shape it's the same as in this shape. So these two models are equal, even though they might look different at first. We could do a similar thing with this next model. If you imagine moving this piece up here, and this piece up here, you can see that this shape actually has the same amount shaded as well. 4 eighths is equal to 2 fourths, which is equal to 1 half. Now this last shape is an example of a model that is not equal. If you take that bottom piece and move it up, it's clear there's still less of the shape shaded than with all of the rest of them. So in this problem, this shape, this shape, and this one are all equivalent, while this last one's not. Now this can take some time to practice and get comfortable with, so let's do one of these together now. Let's label each model and identify which ones are equivalent. First, go ahead and label all of the fractions on your own. This first model is 2 fifths. This model is 4 tenths. This model is 2 sixths. And finally, this model is 5 fifteenths. Now let's look at these 4 tenths. I can move this piece over here and move this piece up here. And now looking at it, is 4 tenths equivalent to 2 fifths? Yes, you can see that this model has the same amount shaded as this model. 2 fifths is equivalent to 4 tenths. Now let's look at this next model. Is this equivalent to 2 fifths? No. While this model looks similar, it's been split up into 6 total pieces instead of 5, so it's a different fraction. Finally, in the last model, let's imagine moving the pieces over one by one. Is this equivalent to 2 fifths? Nope, you can see that there's less shaded in this model than in our model of two-fifths. So two-fifths and four-tenths are the only equivalent fractions that we have here. Now here's another problem to practice with. Let's start by labeling each of these models. Do this on your own. This model is two-sixths. This model is six-twelfths. This model is one-third. And this model is four-twelfths. Now let's start by looking at the 6 twelfths. Is this equivalent to the 2 sixths? No. If you were to move all of those pieces together, you see that more of this circle is shaded than in our 2 sixths model. Now let's look at 1 third. Is this equivalent to 2 sixths? Yes. If you imagine moving this shaded piece around, you can see that it's exactly the same as 2 sixths. Finally, what about 4 twelfths? Is it equivalent to 2 sixths? Yeah, if you were to move these pieces around and then rotate them, you can see this amount is the same as 2 sixths. So 2 sixths, 1 third, and 4 twelfths are all equivalent fractions. Now it's time for you to practice on your own. Select which of these models show equivalent fractions. First, you should label the fractions. Then you can see 2 sixths is definitely not the same as 1 half. If you take all of the pieces in 6 twelfths, though, and put them together, you do see that it's equivalent to 1 half. And if you take the two pieces in 2 fourths and put them together, it's also equivalent to 1 half. So 1 half, 6 twelfths, and 2 fourths are all equivalent fractions. Now here's your last problem for this video. Select which of these models show equivalent fractions. First, you should go ahead and label the fractions. Then, if you imagine taking this piece and moving it down, you see that 2 sixths is equivalent to 1 third. 
Two twelfths is not equivalent, no matter how you try and move the pieces around. Finally, if you move all of the pieces of four twelfths together, you can see it is the same as one third. So one third, two sixths, and four twelfths are all equivalent fractions. That's all for now. Now you know how to match equivalent fractions together. Stay tuned for next time.